The aim of the project was to have an integrated team to create a new cladding system for the end building at Humber College North Campus. Generally, I think it was a redesign um, of that and improving the quality of that building. We chose to focus on sustainability and uh, you know, bringing back space for students. We wanted to really show that with a little bit more investment, Humber could really uh, create a, a, a really invigorating space and get so much more use out of a building that's not used to its fullest extent. Working with industry um, representatives who can mentor us and give us feedback, so it's kind of invaluable experience that we wouldn't get unless we were graduated. It's really remarkable um, to see the growth of the students, to see the commitment and, and follow through on the students. It's been really great. You know, sustainability and structure, they have a lot in common with architecture. Um, but again, we don't really interact with them on a student-to-student -student level. So all of a sudden, we're in this project together. B&H is, you know, contracted to do the end building, and they have a design in place. So this was kind of an opportunity to have students go through the same process that they went through, but to also see, you know, what, where the findings were the same and where the findings were different. We create renderings and put you know, two-dimensional people into those renderings. And I really love seeing the act activation of the spaces that we've drawn on paper um, come to life. You know, just being put into a room with, you know, faculty who are very knowledgeable and a whole bunch of students who are knowledgeable themselves and, you know, vigorous to uh, try new things. And uh, some really great people working in the field. And that synergy works really well and it's great for learning and I'm very grateful for it.